Hey everybody, it's Pete from uh, Command Surf Surfcasting. I uh, hope everybody's staying safe and healthy. Uh, today I just want to talk to you a little bit about uh, choosing a fishing rod. So this is actually a really fun experience. Uh, fishing's a lot of fun, obviously, you can social distance, you're outside, and uh, it's really exciting to see all the new people getting into the sport. Yeah, so, so choosing a rod, I look for the warranty, the durability, uh, and the range that the actual fishing rod can use. Oh, and also the price point. Price point's, <laughs> price point's very important since uh, we're fishermen and most of us aren't made of money. We fish Lammer Glass rods, uh, the Comanche crew, um, they have a bulletproof warranty. Uh, they stand by their product. Uh, it's just a, a company based off a of tradition. Um, and uh, the rods speak for themselves. They probably put more surf 50s on the beach than any other uh, rod out there. But different brands out there and just choose whatever you're comfortable with and I'm, I'm sure it's going to be a great rod. So today I'm going to talk about the three different style rods that I choose uh, when I go fishing. This, uh, we have the Carbon Surf, we have the GSB, and we have the Night Shift. So these are three different rods that serve three different style rods that serve three different purposes um, and they have three different price points. So it can get a little confusing on what rod to buy. I fish mainly an 11 foot rod. This is an 11 foot Carbon Surf 1 to 5. Uh, the range that I could throw with this is probably 3 quarter to 5. Um, it's a powerful rod. Uh, the sensitivity is good. Uh, it casts really well. The layout is fantastic. Um, it's, just a, it's just a great rod for the price. The, this rod is priced at about $100, but it fishes like a $700 rod. Uh, it's factory built, so you get the factory warranty with it. The only little differences that I did is I like to uh, put a little grip on it for myself, so I just use hockey tape uh, on both ends, and it just gives me a little bit of better grip when I'm fishing. Uh, I'm actually super impressed with these rods. We've been fishing them now for about a year, year and a half, two years, testing them out, um, and for $200, uh, you can't beat this rod. Now, this is actually the rod, I could have fish any rod I want, and this is the rod that I'm fishing. I mean, this rod just screams tradition. This is the Lama Glass GSB. This is the workhorse of the Northeast. Um, this is actually really exciting. This is a prototype rod. Lama Glass has now come up with a three-quarter split GSB. It's fantastic. Super long ferrule. Uh, this rod is really durable. Um, and the price point on this one is uh, around $350 to $400. This is a factory-built rod right, right from the factory. It's just like a custom rod difference between this rod and the carbon surf is this is a more moderate rod so if you like to fish eels this is what you're looking for uh, you're not going to get the sensitivity of a fast action rod like the night shift but it'll it pretty much does everything good but it's a, it's your workhorse uh, you cannot go wrong with this rod this is the rod you want to go climbing in this house so I had a Montauk on it's not gonna break you can bang it off the rocks you can climb down the lighthouse you can throw bucktails, poppers, and uh, especially eels. I don't like eels. I'm not a good eel fisherman, um, but this is an excellent eel rod. Being so moderate, it bends really well when you cast the eel, and you don't have to worry about ripping the eel's head off. So the GSB, once again, workhorse, made in America. Okay, so this is the night shift. Uh, this is a 1 to 6, 11 footer with uh, 275 on here. So this is your Ferrari. Uh, if, if we call the GSB the Mustang, this one's the Ferrari. Uh, this has got all the bells and whistles that you want of a high-end rod. It's uh, made of super lightweight material. It's extremely powerful. Uh, factory built. You get your lifetime warranty. Carbon fiber grips. Uh, now, why do you, it, the, <laughs> coming with a Ferrari comes the price tag of a Ferrari. This is an expensive rod, uh, but it's a durable expensive rod. So you're not gonna break this one, uh, which, is, which is super high-end rods out there are fragile. Um, I beat the crap out of my stuff. Uh, I expect it to work. I only carry one rod when I fish. Sometimes I'm two to three miles into the south side and I don't want my rod breaking when I'm out there. Uh, and that's one of the things Lamberglass is known for is its durability and they bring it once again with the night shift. Um, but with the price point comes a lot of really good features. This is a true one to six. You can throw as light as half ounce. You could throw probably eight to 12 ounces if you pitch it. Um, you could turn any fish there is on the East Coast. Uh, we fish for tarpon, we fish for grouper, we fish for sharks, we fish for monster bass. 
This thing handles them all. We've been testing them for about two years. Um, it's a little heavier than a lot of your fast action, high end rods, but that with that comes the durability. It doesn't beat your body up. It's this is this is your Ferrari of a rod. Um, I fish this one a lot. Uh, I actually I fish in the carbon surf a lot because I really like it. Um, but if I was targeting big fish, uh, this is this is definitely the rod I'm going to take out with me. Um, so I customize my own rods, as you saw on the carbon surf. I do the same thing here on the uh, night shift. I just add some wraps on the bottom uh, to help me with my casting. Uh, it's just hockey tape intertwined, um, and that's it. This is uh, that's uh, those are the three different style rods that uh, Lamb of Glass has to offer, or that I. Those are the three different style rods that I would recommend that Lamb of Glass has to offer: Carbon Surf, GSB, and the uh, Night Shift. Kind of has all your uh, bases covered.